Hey guys, welcome back to TC Survival. So, today I'm going to go through my bag, um, just the bare basics of the bag, and what my plans for it are. So let's start with it. It is a Kathmandu Antelope 70 litre with a 5 litre Summit pack uh, that attaches to it. So Kathmandu is a really hit and miss brand. They make some of the worst products that you can get and some of the best. Um, and you're also paying for the name a lot. It's a lot like Bear Grylls. Uh, you, you pay for the name with Kathmandu. So I got this bag on clearance because the, the new model has come out and I got this really cheap. It was like $190 or something like that. In New Zealand dollars, that is so cheap. So my plans for it are to take this front pack here which attaches to the main pack with these buttons and have this as my everyday carry bag. So it's got these straps in the, uh, I don't know what to call the top of it here, that attach to the bottom. It is not that great as a day pack, uh, but for what I want it for, it should be fine. Uh, it's got space here at the front of it for an ice pick so if you guys don't know how that works put the ice pick up like this turn it down and then attach it with the um the strap here so that's how you hold an ice pick on your bag uh, my friend's got one i can show you i'll do a video on it it'll be nice and easy but i won't do it today so uh as i said this is a five liter bag so it doesn't hold a lot but it definitely holds my survival kit my first aid kit um, and some food if I need it, and also my camera, which I use obviously to make my videos. Um, so let's get on to the main pack. So I am going to use this and build it, and I'm going to show you guys along the way of what I do, and I'm going to make it into my bug out bag. So I've just come back from a two month trip around New Zealand living out of my pack and there are lots of things that I learned especially um, living out of your pack for you know periods of time the longest I went without going to a store was five days uh, so I lived out of this pack for five days so it's easily going to be able to do three so um, the material is excellent uh, you can put water on it and it will just bead off, um, which I really like. Also, the straps are really strong. So this is my tent here. It's I'll do another video on the tent. And it's attached to these straps that will just clip off like this. And the strap here is fully adjustable. I really like that. It's really useful. Although I have found that when the tent or anything else is on the side, um, you can't really fit anything into these pockets. So what I'd do is I'd just put plastic bags in there, stuff like that, stuff that will compress a lot. Now the front straps are the same. So they clip like this, and I can take off my sleeping roll, or whatever I have on there. Um, the zips have all got little bits for padlocks. I'll see if I can show you guys. So it's got two holes there, so you can put a padlock on, so that can make it really secure when you're traveling around like I was. And the bottom opens up, so it's great to put stuff in, like your gas, your pots and pans, other things that you might need, like your shovels, um, crampons, you know, I've got all sorts of stuff in here that I use regularly when I am outside. Alrighty, so let's go right back up to the top, to the top of the pack. It, it, it's quite good. Um, it really is. So, it's still lined with that waterproof material. See the shiny stuff? So the water still beads off it, which is obviously good for the top of your pack. Because um, that's where all the rain's going to hit, really. This is for your passport, or your wallet, or your phone, or whatever. I've used, I use this a lot, and made it really easy. This was always full, this top part of the pack. And it was really easy to find um, my wallet, or my passport, or whatever. So that's really good. I, I still haven't talked about the harness, and I probably should have done that first. But anyway, so it uses the very popular 
C3 harness, which is really good. It's fully adjustable for anyone of any size. It's extremely comfortable. Um, it is an excellent harness system, and a lot of Kathmandu bags these days use them. All right, so let's move to the inside of the bag. There's a few quirky little features that I really like inside. Here, there's a little washing bag. How cool is that? So you can put all your dirty clothes in there, um, and it will sit underneath your dry bag if you use a dry bag like I do. I always use a dry bag, and it will sit underneath it, which is awesome. I can also access the very bottom of the pack from here. Uh, there's a like a zip, a zip like um, a pull thing. I don't know what it's called. And also, you've probably seen it now. There's a handle here. Um, and this is so useful. Whenever I was hitchhiking, uh, it was so easy to pick my bag up and just throw it into someone's car. I think that's a really good design feature. And they know that you're going to use that and that it's going to bear a lot of weight. So they've reinforced it really well. It's really, really strong. So basically, that is a look. Just a look anyway at my bag. Uh, I will do a video every week just putting stuff into it and showing you guys what, um, like basically just building a bug out bag. So um, if you guys want to see all that, just remember to subscribe. Um, that'll be excellent. Thanks for watching guys. See you later.